I love that I'm seeing you guys everywhere. Everybody loves it. I'm sure for you, it's exciting that the fans still want more of you. They want to know updates on you, on your life, what's going on, where you stand. And I think that's why it's so incredible that you're launching a podcast that's going to touch into all of that. Tell me all about it. Give me the details. Yeah, we are so, so excited. It's called When Reality Hits. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously, we're going to be talking a lot about reality TV stuff, behind the scenes stuff. I'm sure you know all about that. And, you know, there's so much that people don't understand about reality TV as well. So we're going to, like, give our view on things on us on the show, other things about the show, like just so many different things. And we're going to talk about, like, how we how we met, our life story, how things have been since we stopped filming Vanderpump Rules. I mean, so much has changed in our lives. Like, we have a baby now, as you know. We're going to yeah. have people on the show. Or we're going to have villains that were on the show. I want villains to be on the show. <laughs> I want to interview. Villains to come. <laughs> I really want to interview other villains because I feel like a lot of us are misunderstood. Yeah. You know, TV shows, they... When you get on a show, they they kind of you get pigeonholed in some kind sure. of in certain things, and, and sometimes you don't get to tell who you really are. So I want I want to interview other villains. You know, I want to say, hey, why are you a villain? Basically, you know, because yeah. it's tough to be a villain. When it comes to guests on the podcast, if you could get Tom, Raquel, or Ariana, Ariana, what, <laughs> obviously, I don't want anything to do with the, the other two. What would you? What's the? If you had one question to ask Ariana, what would you ask her? Oh, Lord, there's so many questions. I'm just happy for her. I feel like, yes, this is an awful, awful situation, but I feel like she's just going to come out on top. Oh, she's yeah. She's going to thrive, and she's going to finally, I feel like, just kind of be who she wants to be and just enjoy her life. I feel and like- She's definitely going to shine. Whatever she's going to shine. Going. I think this but is a blessing question, in disguise. What's, a, what's the one question we would want to ask her? That's a tough one because there's so like, many. I kind of just want to be, like, I talked to her this morning. I texted her this morning. And um, I said, you know, good luck today because they're having their reunion yeah. today. And, and she responded, thank you so much. That means so much to me. So I that love, means a lot. I love that you two might actually become like friends after this. I, I do. And, and uh, people always say, you know, they have, Ariana and I have, we kind of butt heads. We, we, I don't, I, I like her. We Sometimes we have, we disagree on certain topics, but I like the person. She's, a, she's a great person. Yeah. She's very strong. She's very independent. And I respect that, you know? Yeah. So um, I think, I mean, honest, obviously, how are you doing is like the main question that I feel like needs to be asked just to make sure that she's doing okay. Cause I know going through something like this so publicly is so hard. And this is just like with everywhere and I don't even, you know, so it's like, I know going through this is just, it's gotta be so, so tough on her. But Jax for you, you said something and maybe it was on watch what happens live. I'm not sure, but you talked about how you knew and people didn't believe you. Like you knew things about Tom and, and you would talk about it because as you said, you're an open book and people didn't believe you. Ariana's feelings aside, because we know you guys support her and you care for her. In some way, are you kind of like, do you feel vindicated? Like I trust <laughs> all you guys this. I, listen, we've been in this situation, my wife and I, and I know per firsthand what it feels like. And I know what she went through. So I'm not going to sit there and be like, I told you so. But, you know, I just... I hope people just listen to me a little bit more and maybe believe me from now on when I say something, because I, I know sometimes people don't like to believe everything I say, but you know, I'm, I, I want the best for, her, you know, I do. And I, and I hope the best for her. And I, I, I hope we can, you know, move past this and I hope she moves past this. And yeah. We never would have imagined that it was going to be like this whole Raquel like relationship I, thing. I would have never thought that even though he knew like in the past that he had done things like we would just, I would never expected that. I've known a hundred percent for a fact he has cheated before. I know that, but I never knew it would be Raquel. No, yeah, yeah. Raquel, that's a shocker to me. Yeah. And like I said it before, and, a relationship and I said it like, many, many times crazy. before. Ariana is a very strong, independent woman. She's very confident in herself, and like she's that's who she is. Raquel is not. She's not that kind yeah. of person. And I feel like Tom can control her, and that's I've been saying this a lot. And I feel like that's kind of why he's kind of went that way. She's just really easily manipulated, I think. I think she's codependent. And I think, you know, Tom could take advantage of that. And I think he wasn't getting that with Ariana. The situation is is a little different though. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a, there's different. a full relationship going on behind the relationship. The fact that people are saying that there's this full-blown relationship and that there were feelings of love or maybe they were in love. Do you think, you know, you talk about the control and not being able to control. And this is for both of you. Do you think that they have a future together. Do you think that this is a relationship that could actually work between Tom and Rachel? 
I don't know because like I don't I, I don't know because I don't know uh, what they thought was gonna happen. Like, did that? Did they think that this could just keep going on behind Ariana's back for a long time? I mean, seven months is a long time. Yeah. I just I don't know if it will actually work. I don't know if like they're gonna feel like that they have to make it work now because it's gotten so public. Like. I don't know. I, I can't see them together at all because I just am so used to Tom and Ariana together. So it's just even weird for me to even think about. I think they both have some inner demons. I think there's some inner demons going on. I don't think Tom has even been faithful to Raquel, to be honest. You know, I, <laughs> I honestly don't. Do you think they'll both be on the next season or it will one have to go? I don't know because I don't know how that will work. I don't even know if everyone will even talk to them, you know, like. It's gotten so bad that, you know, everybody's going to have to pick a side. There's not like, there's not going to be any way to be like in between. I don't feel like, it's, so I don't know how it's going to work. I even got producers reaching out to me like, Jax, would you even talk to Tom? Like, I mean, <laughs> I mean they're preaching, no one will talk to him. So they're like, would you even talk to him? So, I, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. You talked about, Brittany, you said walking the line and being in between. Which brings me to Tom Schwartz, because there seems to be some of that going on with him. Jax, I know you've said that you've spoken with Tom. You talk to him all the time. Tom Schwartz? Yes. You talk to him all the time. Yes. Is he bothered that you talk about that he knew before? or that No, I don't think he would have told me if he didn't care. But here, here's the thing with Tom. Like, <laughs> you got to understand, he's friends with both of them. And he, they put him in a really crappy situation. Yeah. They put him in a crap. He's friends with Ariana. I mean, he was... She was the best man at his wedding. Or groomsman. Groomsman yeah. or whatever. You know what you want to call it. Uh, and Tom's his friend, his business partner. I know he knew for a while. I don't know how long, but I know, I know, I know that he knew. Mm -hmm. I know also that he told Tom, listen, you need to come clean with this. I know he told me he oh. said that. And I think that's as far as it went. He's it's not his father. He's they're both grown men. They make their own decisions. But I think Sandoval put Schwartz in a really, really bad situation. And it's, I feel bad for Schwartz because he's taken a, the brunt of this. You mentioned producers reached out to you to talk to Tom. Yeah. If they reached out to you guys to come and, and film with Ariana or Tom or anybody else, would you come back to do it? Depending on the circumstances, I feel like, you know, if it was something that was like, not gonna hurt any, anything or, you know, be, we have a family to worry about too. So it's like, it just depends on what it was going to be like, I feel like, if that makes sense. I also don't want to just jump in just to jump in because of everything that's going I on. Love I don't want to do that. That's not right. It's not fair. There's enough going on. She's got so much going on in her life right now. Her life is just flipped upside down between her, her, her relationship, her house, and her friends. Like, it just flipped upside down. The show, yeah. the reunion. There's so much going on. I